So here are some of my James Baldwin books I've read. That's uh, Go Tell on the Mountain and Notes of a Native Son. But I've also read Another Country, and I've read If Beale Street Could Talk, and maybe another one. But those are my Baldwin books, and Richard Wright, and Ellison, Marlon James. But today, my friends, I'm coming at you with this great biography of James Baldwin by David Lemming. And they, Baldwin called Lemming his, his Boswell, meaning uh, David Lemming was his private secretary for, I think, seven years. There's photos I'll show you in here. But the amount of people that Baldwin met and wrote about is uh, very impressive. He met, among, among other people, uh, the artist Buford Delaney, that guy they spent a lot of time together in Paris. And here's what some of his paintings look look like. And I'll show you a picture of uh, Delaney with Baldwin when they, they were young. Delaney was uh, quite a bit older than Baldwin, probably like 10 years. But it's a very extensive biography. And I hope to do it in like 10 minutes. So, you know, it starts out he was born in Harlem. I didn't read the people. Richard Wright, Lorraine Hansberry, playwright, writer, um, Marlon Brando, Harry Belafonte, L Lena Horne. Um, his time in Paris is fascinating. I'd like to read more about it. I found myself in a deep dive on YouTube with there's a lot of interviews and debates with William F. Buckley and Baldwin. Kind of interesting. I'll leave some links below to uh, some of the ones I. I liked, um, but I found chapter 16 in here is great, and the theater chapters. Baldwin was a playwright as well. I also watched The Amen Corner. It's a, um, they made a musical out of it, but it's almost a musical in itself because a lot of gospel singing in that. Um, so The Amen Corner was a play, but he wrote uh, scripts and screenplays, um, a couple few plays um, kind of produced by Ilya Kazan uh, he met Tennessee Williams and uh, Ilya Kazan they were optioning his uh, play uh, The Amen Corner and uh, I know I'm skipping around here let me show you some uh, pictures I mean it, this was a buddy read by the way with my Baldwin buddy reading partner uh, Patrice Jones commenter extraordinaire and yeah, we uh, took turns. She mostly um, initiated like the chapters. We would do two or three at a time. Oh, I'm running out of the room already. Um, boy, as I was saying, Patrice Jones, my Baldwin buddy reading partner, we, we've read those uh, books together that I pointed out and mentioned. So let me go through the photos because that will spark my conversation and make me remember other than uh, going through and doing my notes like Patrice and I would do like every week we uh, go back and forth on two, three chapters. Very intense. So uh, here's, I mentioned the artist Buford Delaney in 1953 with Baldwin in Paris. Um, you see how much older Delaney is than Baldwin. And let me uh, bring up some, well, I'll, I'll do the, his paintings later. I like his paintings. They're kind of folkish. But American, you know, um, Baldwin was a preacher, even when he was younger than this, brought up in the church, you know, um, inc incidentally, um, died not believing in God. Kind of strange. Here he is with, uh, Lena Horn, 63. He had, uh, affairs with, um, men and women. He's primarily homosexual. Here he is with, uh, MLK. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. And it's in uh, 68. 
But um, Baldwin uh, drank a lot, smoked a lot, ultimately died of uh, esophageal cancer, and um, had a big memorial. And let's see, like I mentioned, the chapters I like a lot were 16, talking about all the theater things he was doing. Uh, I'm going to read uh, Nobody Knows My Name. I've never read another collection of his essays next February with Patrice. And I've never read Giovanni's Room. I'd like to read that next year. He taught uh, around uh, the country and briefly at Bowling Green State University, which a uh, university I attended briefly for uh, uh, three semesters. Then I went back to Kent, my alma mater. I was a theater major at Kent. Um, let's see some other interesting photos. Here's uh, one of David Lemming, the author, and they're in Istanbul in 1967. David's the white guy with glasses right there. Uh, that's Look how old uh, Buford Delaney is here in this one, Paris 78. Uh, B B Buford and Baldwin, uh, they had a friendship, not sexual. Buford uh, uh, Delaney wanted more, but they were made for lifelong friends. Very close. They're holding hands in that picture. Uh, here's one where he's teaching at Bowling Green State University in 1978. That's cool, huh? Having a workshop with James Baldwin. Wow. Here he is with Maya Angelou. <clears throat> they were lifelong friends, like him and Lena Horne. He was lifelong friends with Marlon Brando. Um, here he is with Amen a Corner, 86. Getting a little old with a, his play, The Amen a Corner, that says... Uh, Holy Ghost Station. No name in the street. No name in the street. Uh, he was uh, very prolific back in the day and age, starting in the 50s, when uh, a great genius American writer could make a living and make a name, make a career, make a, uh, you know, a legend. I mean, we're still reading them. Uh, he was in Esquire, he was in Partisan Review, he was in Cosmopolitan, Harper's, The Atlantic, you know, newspapers galore. He covered um, all the Alabama and uh, Montgomery, Birmingham, the marches, everything, the uh, assassinations. He went through a lot of uh, depression, suicidal not only ide ideation, but uh, attempts, several suicide attempts. Uh, none very, not really close ones, you know, the calls for attention, you could say. But uh, he, his life was up and down personally. Really uh, said, you know, never married. Ah, I that water. So I'm going to close with that. Highly recommend it if you like James Baldwin because now I'll really get uh, the inside. I, when I read Giovanni's room, I have my inside. I mean, I didn't even realize that was about two white men. Okay, like, subscribe, make a comment. I'll reply. I'll talk to you later. Have a good one.